Okay, hi everybody, it's Miss Molly and Wyatt. And today we're gonna show you how to make snow dough. So this is something that Miss Jen uses in her UPK4 class. So if you're lucky enough to have her as a teacher, sometimes she does it. So we're gonna show you how you can do it at home. We just put a tiny bit of glitter in here and you don't have to do that because I know how messy glitter can be, but this gives the snow the sparkle that you want. And then what you'll use is two cups of baking soda and a half a cup of conditioner. And so all those things you can get at Dollar Tree, so this shouldn't cost you a fortune and you might even have it all right in your house already. So here you go, Wyatt. He's gonna pour these into the bowl for me. Oh, it's heavy. Yes, it is. So he's getting his pouring skills, his measuring skills that we've already done. Um, he'll be kneading the dough, he'll be stirring the dough. Here's the conditioner, bud. Pour it all in. Ooh, if you want this to be cold like snow, you could always refrigerate um, all of this. And to get all of this out, why don't you use a spoon and scoop the rest. Um, you could refrigerate it to give it that cold feeling. So a lot of this is fun for the kids because uh, sensory stuff, you know, touching different textures and substances and being a scientist and experimenting with it. Um, so it didn't take a lot of convincing today to get Wyatt to make some snow dough with me. Here we go. For extra learning, you could always hide things in here when you're done. They can uncover them, so you're getting a lot of fine motor skills going on. Go, go ahead, buddy. Sorry about that. It's not even hard. Not yet. But we'll get to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, now it's hard. It's getting harder. So you're going to want to mix this up for about three minutes, they say, until you get the right consistency. Um, so let's show them. Right now you can see it's kind of getting fluffy the way that snow would. So two cups of baking soda and a quarter, or I'm sorry, a half a cup of conditioner. Yes, the conditioner that you put in your hair. So it does moisturize the kids' hands too, huh, in the cold, in the winter time. Which is like, you know, when we're making Play-Doh, the salt in the Play-Doh a lot of times will get in their little cuts or hurt them or dry their skin out. So snow dough is a good alternative to that. So I just want to show you while we're mixing it up, it's starting to get kind of crumbly, fluffy looking. You can it see smells the good. It smells really good, doesn't it? And we just got out some things from around our house um, that we would use with Play-Doh just to experiment and see what happens. Little A little guy here. Who's this, Why? A crab. We're gonna see if we can cut through it. Maybe it's not even tough enough for that. Maybe it'll just be really crumbly. And maybe we can make a snowball. Maybe we can make a snowman. Can I do it for a minute, buddy? Just because it takes three minutes and I don't think all the moms and dads wanna watch for three whole minutes while we stir, if you know what I mean. Ooh, what does it feel like when you stick your hand in there? I want to Does it feel? It feels kind of sandy. Prickly? It's kind of mushy. Mushy? Is it cold? Is it mushy. hot? No, it's just, it's just right. Just right? Um, and it's mushy. Well, let's see what happens when we take it out of here. So I just took a plastic tablecloth, which is why this is fall looking. It's the only plastic one I had because I also have never done this before. So we're doing our own experiment. And we just wanted, we didn't want to hurt the table. So we're going to knead this. So why will you help me knead this? We're going to really crush into it. It feels like we're playing outside in the snow. Yeah. I mean, I can see to you it looks like flour, but it is. Um, it does have a certain texture of, of um, kind of, it's kind of wet, isn't it? It's kind of cold. It kind of does feel like snow without the, the um, what do you call it? Freezing ice feeling of it. Hurt your skin. Wow, it does smell good. And that glitter kind of makes it shine, right? Yeah, where's so the glitter? I didn't even see any of it. So let's pack it down, should we? Yeah. Let's pack it down. You can use your fist if you want and pound it. Ooh, you can make handprints too. That's cool. Yeah. See that? Okay, so we can make it flat. We can make handprints. What if we did just like this? Again, um, well, for the little ones, let's work on shapes. So, why? let's pretend you're three. Give me a circle, bud. There it is. I bet you've never drawn in a feeling like this. Sometimes we do it, it with the sand at the beach, but never in snow. Mm 
You could always use real snow from outside too and bring that in. All right, Wyatt, give me a letter Z. Zig, zag, Z. Ooh. You can also use your numbers. Why give me the number seven? Here you go. Very good. And this keeps for a long time. Miss Jen always keeps this for, you know, maybe a week in her classroom. Maybe not during a pandemic, but on any other year. So you could also spice it up with oils if you wanted to, make a lavender scent, or you could use um oh geez Louise. You could always get color drops and change the color with food coloring. Some people are a little hesitant with food coloring, thinking it stains, but you'd be surprised. It really doesn't stain your bathtub too much or hard surfaces. It comes off easily with a magic eraser. All right, everybody. Well, show me what you do at home. I'm excited to see if you make your snow dough. I'm excited to see how it turns out. And send me pictures. Bye.